Hey, Free Falcon here. Today we're going to be going over the top three spaces that you need to know very early game in Power World. So the first one that we're going to be going to is this small settlement here. If you look, this is the starting island. So you can get here very, very early on. You just run down this hill, follow this trail, and instead of going up to the right to go to the tower, you just take a left and you follow it up this hill to get to the settlement here. So let's travel there real quick. And show you why this is important. This is one of the best places to get early and get uh, get familiar with. So there's this little settlement here. You can see you have these different workers, but there's a pale merchant right here inside. So early game. This will help you get a lot of these er these creatures that are somewhat hard to come by, especially these gobfins. These are pretty hard to get early. You can see that there has two water, which is really good. So you could get this super early and have a big leg up. These lupins, they're hard to get as well. They got two. The dire wolves are good. So these are randomized, and there's different ones that you can get. So you can offload your extra stuff that you don't need. So like, you know, we can sell and it also scales with level. So you'll want to, so when I first started, I would throw a bunch of land balls in my party, run around and use them, get them leveled up and then offload them for additional gold. And so you kind of get more established and you don't need to do that. And if you come right back in here, there's a merchant. So this is where you will be getting your money. So you can offload your different things here, sell it, and you can build up your cash here. Uh, the next big reason to go here is if you go right down here, past here, you can see there's a dungeon. So you can come here, run the dungeon, get the items that sell for a grand to 1500 a pop, and then throw that in. Every couple one of those, you can run over here and get a pail. That'll help. And then you can just keep cycling through here and a few other locations. And it'll get you to where it is. The next one is really close. So if you go from here straight north to this desolate church, that's our next location. So let's pop this open. And let's go up here and I'll show you why. This is a good location. So inside here, there's a chest. I just frequently, I just got done farming it. There's also a effigy there, and there's also one there. And there's one that spawns right up on this hill right here. So there's three of those effigies right here, and that'll help you get that boosted. Then you come back here. I just got done farming this a little bit ago, but there is about eight of these iron nodes. And what makes them good is that you don't have to you don't have to set up a base to get there, and they're right next to a fast traveling point. Also, these Vixies spawn right here, as you can see, and Especially early game, they are some of the best ones to get. So you can set up your unlimited farm for your arrows and your balls. All right. So the next spot that we're going to talk about is right down here to this animal sanctuary. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and I'll go ahead and travel down there. You will need a flying mount for this. Okay, as you can see, we are down over here. It is just south here, so here's the starting point. As soon as you can get a flying mount, which there is a nightwing that spawns right here. Also, if you come over here, there's three or four that spawn right here in this area. Um, ideally, if you can get one with swift or runner, they fly a lot faster and it'll help you get back and forth. So if you come down here, you can see that we got 
a whole bunch of chests over here as well. So we got one there. And you can run out of stamina on the water, it doesn't affect you. Then there's a second chest over here. There is a total of 10 chests on this island. So, let's see, I just got two instruction manuals. Right? So, popping over here will get you 10 chests, and then additionally, there's a pretty good amount of good 15 to 20 level creatures that spawn here. That'll give you a big boost up here. So you can see there's a 21 Zobe. And there's not a whole lot of places to find these, but you can consistently come here and find these. Uh, Pinking Scrow here. These Ichthyr Terrors right here as well. So, they, they spawn here, there's a pretty good amount of metal here, and then these patellas also spawn here, which these are very, very good for early game, so if you can come over here and get these, this will help you significantly in this early game. Which I'm just going to choose it here with this this beacon here. But you can see there you don't have a really good chance of catching but you just keep spawning and you'll eventually get it. So you see only 13%. 38% with the better ones. So simulating having this early game. So Alright, now you caught a patella. And they are really good. So that'll give you a good boost to your farming. Let's see if we can find her in there. There we go. So you can see level 3 planting, level 2 handiwork, to gathering, medicine, and transportation. But you can get these early. Um, and there's a few different ways to cheese this stuff. That's not too bad. Now, one caveat here is that there are uh, workers that spawn here. And if you get caught, you will have trespassing. Uh, this is another one that spawns over here. This is the Farian. And he's pretty good too. But the Pekins and the Battalions are the really what you're looking for early game. Right? Uh, and so you can see we were just spotted. Now we have Trespassing. Now these guys are just going to keep following me around until I eventually die from it. But, and I don't mind it because you can just sit here and kill them and get a little XP and a lot of ammo. So it's not really the end of the world. So not a bad way to just gain up some XP. And eventually whenever you're tired of fighting them, you just let them kill you. And then once you kill, once they're dead, or once you're dead, it's no longer a problem. See, once you attack them yourself, you get wanted. And so those keep spawning, but they come in higher level each time.
Okay. But yeah, those are the three spots that you want to make sure that you're aware of as a new player.